In this video, we take a look at the Alpacool ZGW41 portable refrigerator. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Today we're going to do a review of the Alpacool ZGW41 refrigerator. It's a portable refrigerator by Alpacool. I'm really, really excited about this, guys. I've wanted one of these for a while. I get so tired of constantly having to put ice in my cooler when I'm camping. So having one of these things that I can just plug in and run off battery power or offshore power when I'm at the campsite, guys, I am super, super excited about this. So I want to thank Alpacool for sending this to me for this review. I did not pay for this, guys. They sent it to me, so just wanted to be totally upfront. But I'm going to give you my fair and honest and impartial review. See what I like about this thing. See what I think Alpacool could do differently. Let's tear into the box and see what we got. So a couple of things concern me right off the bat. This is shipped via FedEx. And the box has some dents and dings. So hopefully it's packaged well and it, it didn't affect the inside unit. But we're going to find out. Everything looks good from up top. Let's get it out. Okay guys, any concerns that I had from marks in the box are totally gone as the unit is totally unscathed, which is good. Man, this thing looks awesome. So I'm just doing a little pan here. Pretty nice. I love this spring-loaded handle. That is slick, so it doesn't take up a whole lot of space, but gives you lots of good leverage. That's awesome. The unit has nice wheels. I'm pretty excited about that. And then the handle extends by pushing in two tabs, these tabs right here on both sides, and it pulls out, back the camera up, and then makes it easy to transport on the wheels. And before we get too carried away with this review, oh yeah. Okay, as we take a look inside, the handle has a little clip, so it isn't hard to open. You just have to push a little bit, but this kind of comes out like that. You can, uh, I guess it does latch pretty good. So that's cool. And then inside, I gotta figure this out. I don't know what this is about or why it's loose. I have to look at a manual. And then here we've got our, looks like our power cords. But check this out. Comes with its own little cutting board. That's awesome. Really nice little feature. Okay, so in the little box here, we have an AC 110 alternating current to probably, I'm guessing 12 volts and a little power brick here. And then also it comes with this cigarette lighter adapter plug. And then also, we have a user manual. So, also guys, wanted to let you know that this is one of three that are of this size. So, the model uh, ZG41 and then ZG51 and ZG61. And then the ZGW41, W51, and W61. The ones without the W are without wheels or telescoping handle. And then the ones with a W have the wheels. Well, I would definitely want the wheels. But this is the size. So, you know, this is about a 42 quart cooler, I think is what they said. I don't know why it's 41. Maybe it's 41 point something. But 41, 51, and 61 indicate the sizes. So the 41 is the smallest. And then the 61 is the largest. Now, something else to keep in mind, guys, I run a 65-quart Arctic cooler. 
and I probably can carry more in this 42 quart cooler than I can in that Arctic 65 because I have to have room for ice and about a third of your cooler is taken up by ice. So by able, being able to plug this in and not having to constantly deal with ice and melted water and all that stuff, you can carry more in a smaller space in a refrigerator than you can in a cooler with ice. So pretty cool. So this was down inside, so this must have popped off. I'm guessing this covers. My guess is this is an LED light for in here. Okay, so I'm guessing that's how that sits there. I'm not sure that this won't pop out again, so I'm not crazy about that, but I don't really care so much about a light, I don't think. Let's get it plugged in. So one thing you wanna be sure, when you read the manual, it's gonna tell you to have the refrigerator unpacked and sitting on a level surface for six hours before you plug it in. That's in case the refrigerator was turned upside down during shipping or anything like that, or it was stored on its side so that all of the uh, fluid can settle in the compressor the right way so you don't damage the unit. So it has been sitting here all night long and we are ready to plug it in. Okay, and you can see when we plugged it in, uh, it turned on. What it's doing here is it's reading that both compartments are at 72 degrees. That makes sense because it's at room temperature. So this reading on the left is the left compartment or the big one. This one is the one on the right or the small one, the one that sits over the compressor. It's drawing 14.1 volts. It is set on max. So if you hit the settings button, that'll switch it between max and eco mode, right? Eco mode draws 45 watts, max draws 60 watts. So if you're trying to protect your battery, set it on eco. If you want max cooling like I do, set it on max. Uh, and then also to change temperatures, right? You're just gonna hit the plus and minus. So the left compartment is set at 70, well, it's at 72, but it's set for 41, right? And so I can go down or I can go up. I'm going to leave it at 41. And then if I want to change the temperature of the smaller compartment, while this is flashing, you hit the gear icon or the settings icon. So I'm going to let it flash. I hit the gear icon. There we go. See, the smaller compartment is set to negative four. So if I want to change that, oops, it stopped flashing on me. Hold on. I hit the gear. And so if I want to take that up, and again, this is in Fahrenheit. So negative four Fahrenheit is pretty cold. That's pretty good uh, for keeping your meats frozen and that kind of thing. So we need to let it cool off inside, and that's going to take a little bit of time. So we're going to do that. In the meantime, I want to show you this lid. One of the cool features of this lid is that it's completely reversible. So what you do is you open it up and then you lift off one side, pull it out, and then you can turn it around, putting the lid in on this side, and then dropping it in place, and then it's shut. Another really cool thing about this lid is that it does have some rulers so if you're a fisherman and you want to know the length of your catch it's up to 18 inches or 46 centimeters it does have these little round spots they say for drinks but it's not deep enough to really do anything but i do like the look and the toughness of this lid really really nice so one of the tests i want to do is i want to do a freeze test so it says that the 
right compartment is going to get down into negative degrees Fahrenheit. Set it negative four. We'll see if it gets there. I'm going to set a cup of water in there and see if I can freeze that water solid. I'm also going to take a second cup of water and I'm going to set it down in the large basin to make sure that it doesn't freeze to see if we truly have dual temperature zones. And we close the lid. One of the things I forgot to mention over here is that you can actually turn off one side or the other. You can't turn off both sides at the same time unless you kill the power. But if you wanted to turn off one side, you press the gear icon and the plus. That's a long hold. And with that long hold, you can see the big side or the left side is off. To turn it back on, you do a long hold again and it's back on. To turn off the right side, it's the gear and the minus on a long hold. See, off and back on. One of the things that I've noticed is that the deep side, the left side, cools faster than the right side. I don't know if that's because it's over the compressor on the right side or if there's some other reason, but in general, the left side cools faster, but they both cool to the appropriate temperature. One other thing I want to mention is this right here is a USB jack. So when this is plugged in, if you need to charge your phone, or a tablet or anything else via USB that comes up and you can plug it right in. The cooler does not have its own battery bank though so it has to be plugged in for that to work. Okay guys so it's been five hours since I put the water in as you can see the left side of the unit is measuring 35 degrees Fahrenheit the right side of the unit is measuring two degrees Fahrenheit now it is set at 41 degrees Fahrenheit for the left side and negative four degrees Fahrenheit for the right side. So the left side is a little colder than it should be and the right side is a little warmer than it should be. But we're gonna test to see if the water on the refrigerator side isn't frozen and we're gonna test to see if the water on the freezer side is frozen. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the frozen side first. So here I'm gonna reach in and guess what guys? That is ice. It's not totally frozen, but after five hours, that's a pretty good ice chunk. Let's look at the refrigerator side. So the refrigerator side is water and it is cold water. That would be a nice temperature for a beverage. If I wanted a cold bottle of water to drink, that would be a great setting. All right, guys, so final thoughts. Do I like this Alpacool? Yes, I do. I'm very excited about it. As a matter of fact, it is going to be used for my next trip, which is going to be a six week trip where I leave my house in Tampa, Florida, head all the way out past Seattle, Washington to Olympic National Park and back. Six weeks, whole bunch of states, lots of camping, lots of use in this refrigerator. So we are gonna put it through its paces. So here's what I didn't like about it, guys. And the list is really, really short. Number one, I didn't like how the interior light had popped out during shipping. I'm not sure what that was about, but it did pop back into place. I think it's gonna hold just fine. It might pop out every once in a while if it gets jostled or hit hard or bounce around in the back of a truck or a trailer or something. But I'm not too crazy about that. That could be a little better secured than it is, but hey, that's a really, really minor thing. The second thing that I had a problem with is that I could not get this cooler to connect to the Alpacool app. Supposedly this, this cooler is supposed to connect to the Alpacool app where you can control everything with your smartphone. 
I was not able to find it uh, via Bluetooth. So I don't know if I'm missing something and how to turn on Bluetooth for this uh, refrigerator. It's not mentioned anywhere in the manual, but if you go to the link on Amazon to purchase, you'll see a picture of it uh, with a smartphone. So it's obviously indicated by Alpacool that it's supposed to work with the app. So I reached out to Alp Alpacool on that and I haven't heard anything back. So uh, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Uh, if I do get it to work in, in, in the future, I will definitely mention that in a future video, but it might be during one of my camping vlogs or something like that. So you're gonna have to stay tuned to the channel to see how we use this thing and how we like it long-term. I also do plan to come back and do a review after a period of time of using this thing. So maybe I'll do a review in about a year or so to let you know how well it's holding up and you know if it's still kicking. Uh, so that's the list of things that I don't like about it. Like I said, a real short list. Here are the things I really like about it. Number one, guys, the 42 quart or 41 quart size is a great size. It's really easy to manage and you get a lot of storage. I typically am using a 65 quart Arctic cooler. That 65 quart cooler is bigger than this, but I'm gonna be able to hold about the same amount of, of food and drinks because I won't have to take up a whole bunch of room with ice. So that's something to consider. You don't need, if you're, gonna, if you're looking to replace a cooler, you don't need to buy the same capacity refrigerator because a third of your cooler space or more can be taken up by ice, which you're not gonna need uh, with the uh, refrigerator. So uh, I, I love that. It's quiet, guys. As a matter of fact, it's running right now, uh, sitting right in front of me. I don't even know if you guys can hear it, but it's running right now and it's really, really quiet. So I'm not gonna have a problem having this thing uh, in my trailer with me when I'm sleeping at night. My air conditioner is way louder than this. So that's not a problem at all. It seems to be really ruggedly built. Uh, the wheels are plastic, but they look like they're gonna hold up just fine. I really like the carry handle. I like the spring handle. I like the extended handle for uh, pulling it on the wheels. Love the lid. Love the built-in cutting board. We'll probably use that a lot. I really like cheese, guys. And so this cooler is gonna carry a lot of cheese. I'm also really excited because for the first time ever, I'm gonna be able to take ice cream while camping. Guys, that's a game changer. So I wanna thank Alpacool for sending this to me. I'm really, really excited to, to have it and to use it. Uh, other things I like about it, guys, I love this little green color. As a matter of fact, we were having a debate in my house about whether it's green or gray. Guys, it's green. So I don't know. I think I think people in my house are colorblind because they think it's gray, but it's like this uh, subdued green. So I love that green's one of my favorite colors. Love the lid, uh, love the rugged looks. Uh, it seems to be built, you know, pretty strong. So I don't think I'm gonna have any problems with it. Uh, you know, if it's sitting in the back of a truck or in the back of the van or in the trailer, I think it's gonna be able to take, you know, some abuse. You, you never, you never wanna abuse things too much, but uh, um, uh, other things I like about it are the, the cord lengths. The cord lengths uh, are, are pretty long, especially uh, this 12 volt cord. So it'll reach a cigarette lighter, uh, you know, pretty, pretty long. You know, just a caution guys, you know, when, when, especially when dealing with DC currents, right? The longer the wire, the thicker the gauge it needs to be. So be very careful when you're running stuff like this, if you're running um, like, a, like a DC extension cord. I've seen, I've seen extension cords for cigarette lighter stuff. Be really careful how long you're running this. Uh, if you're going to run a longer cord, make sure it's a thicker gauge. Just be, be careful on that. Uh, but this is, they're really nice cords, really nice ends. Um, they're, 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 they're built well. They've got strain relief, all that stuff. Uh, pretty thick gauge, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. And it's really easy to switch over from, from AC to, to DC. And so there is not much I don't like about this thing. And of course, it did the ice test just fine where uh, the ice froze on the side that's supposed to be frozen and it didn't freeze on the side that's not supposed to freeze. But it's definitely uh, cold water, so uh, it's definitely gonna be able to keep things cold. It's definitely gonna be able to keep things frozen. And I'm really looking forward to, to using it, guys. I'm gonna be able to, to take you know, steaks and chops and chicken and shrimp and sausage and brats and all the stuff that I would have to reprovision halfway through my trip because I couldn't leave that stuff in a cooler that long. I can now take it frozen and leave it frozen and pull it out as we go. So for us taking extended camping trips, 
we're going to be able to go and keep our stuff frozen uh, and ready to pull out and thaw when we're, when we're ready to use it. So this is fantastic. And like I said, guys, if you have one of these and you're not camping with ice cream, I'm not sure we can be friends. So just saying. If you got one of these, take ice cream along. So guys, that's those are my thoughts. And I'm going to put a link down in the description below where you can pick one of these up. Uh, this will be for the 41. So the... Uh, I gotta see if I can get the model number right. ZGW41 is the one I reviewed. That's the 41 quart or 42 quart option. And then they have a 51 and a 61. All of these are with wheels, guys. And so I'm gonna put a link to the 41, but you can go down and you can click 51 or 61 if you need more capacity. But uh, you know, it is an affiliate link. So it's a, it's a link on Amazon that gives me a little commission on the sale if you use my link to purchase. So it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's a great way to support Kemp Outside and, and, and helps uh, to produce these kinds of videos. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside. We exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. So if you have any questions about uh, getting outside or portable refrigerators or any of that stuff, or this unit in particular, drop some in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Uh, and you can also hit us up on other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and X. Or you can connect with us at our website at kempoutside.com. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.